What's up, gangsters? Welcome to your 49th Android tutorial for the new Boston, again with me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is work within our open class, or open class, and also our, uh, <clears throat> our data class as well, kind of get the basic setup for our um, start intent for result, for the most part, or start activity for result. So what we're going to do basically first is set up a new variable or set up these uh, radio buttons to do something. Sorry, I was reading something on my other computer. So sorry if I was kind of sidetracked there. But what we're going to do is basically set up a string variable. So we'll call this string. Or we're going to set up a new variable above our class and we're going to say uh, send, send data. That's what we're going to call this. So we're going to set send data up within our um, switch case down here. We're going to say these are kind of the answers for the most part. Did, I, did we set up an answers? Not positive. No. All right. So we're going to say send data. And we're going to say if it's crazy, we're going to say probably right. In quotations, copy, paste, definitely right. And both will say spot on. I don't know. I hear a lot of British people say spot on. I think that's what they're saying. I don't know. But we're, that's what we're going to roll with. Um, so there we go. We basically set up our uh, new text variable. And all we're going to do is set up our test text view that we set up up here, I believe. Yeah, test. And that's the text view below all of our radio buttons in our radio group. We're going to do that outside of our switching case. So we're just going to say test dot set text. This is just to make sure our radio button's working. And we're going to set it to our send data. So there we go. Basically, um, as you can see, here's our switching case, but we're still within our on check change listener right here. So um, basically, it's going to go through the switching case, set this data up, according to which radio buttons pressed and then it's going to break the switch statement and it's going to call this method where it's going to change the test text so there we go we basically set that up and now we're going to set up our um, it's kind of messing around as well we're going to set up our start activity for result so how we're going to do that is basically we're going to set up an intent and uh, well first let's just use the method start activity for result we're gonna say I because that's what we're gonna label our intent and now all we have to do is basically start our activity for a result and we also have to hit zero as well this is just kind of a default value that that the start activity for result takes in as we used in the previous tutorial, I believe we set up a variable and we set that variable equal to zero. Um, basically, just you can also use zero. It's just kind of a default, no biggie. And then we're going to set up an intent, obviously. So we're going to call this intent i. We're going to set it equal to um, basically, again, the same way we set up our last activity for the most part. So we're going to say, or yeah, our last tutorial, I believe it was. So we're going to say intent i equals new intent I'm just gonna copy this line here and again it gives it the context of this class and it, what class it wants to open so it kinda has a ref reference and then anytime we use this start activity for for result we need to import that method um, basically on activity result so I'm just gonna right click again go to source override implement methods and this comes from our activity class. So we're going to say on activity result right here. Again, it takes in th two integers and an intent. And I'll break this down more as we use this method. But basically, we've set this method up now. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Again, I'm just going to make sure those radio buttons work. Um, and there we go. Again, I'll explain that a little bit more in the next tutorial when we work with the actual passing the data and getting the result data but we're gonna go through the start activity for now and as you can see this test changes with each click of the radio button 
and it's pretty amazing for the most part. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one. Peace.